starting. Hey, everybody. Uh, we still have some people coming in, uh, but thank you so much for joining uh, Brian and me today. I'm Chris Rampy. I'm one of the original founders, as well as Brian. Um, we're going to give you some really good information today and uh, hope to get you really excited and answer any questions that you've had up to this point. Um, right now, I'm going to try and get us sharing my screen with the webinar, the PowerPoint. Okay, are we, are we showing that now, Brian? We are. It's perfect. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so um, just a little housekeeping thing. There is a, uh, there sh you should see an icon on your screen to ask questions. Uh, we want you to, you know, as the questions occur to you, go ahead and put them in there. We're not going to stop during the presentation. We're going to wait till the end. There are going to be some questions we probably will cover, but, um, you know, we'll try to answer as many as we can, even if it's a little repetitive, but we don't want to go over time. Uh, we won't, we know your time's valuable and we want to honor that. So we're going to, we're going to try to keep it to the hour that we have allotted. Um, so just, you know, look for that question icon. As you have questions, go ahead and type them in there um, as you think of them. And, you know, we'll address them at the end of the presentation. Um, and with that, I'll kick it off with Brian. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Uh, Brian Walton here coming to you from Charleston, South Carolina, where Pinch uh, is headquartered. Uh, let me just first and foremost, thank you guys for being on this call. I know it's a Saturday morning and uh, it's tough with your families and everything with life. So we really appreciate it. We think this will be a great spend of your time. We have about six or seven slides we're going to go through. Um, we will record this, so you'll be able to go back and watch this again if you'd like at a later date. So don't feel like you have to take copious notes. Um, also, just to let me, give you a heads up, we're going to start doing these more on a biweekly basis. And we're going to have so many different topics that we're going to cover. Um, all things cleaning, of course, but we're going to focus in on selling. We're going to focus in, in the multifamily space itself. Um, how to gain entry, how we can help you grow into that diamond that we know you all can be. So with that being said, let's get started. I think it's kind of important to start off. Uh, I, I know each one of you probably are at a different walk with Pinch right now. Some have probably done training. Some probably haven't. Um, either way, um, our platform is set up to make you successful. And that's the great thing about this. I want to take a step back before I take a step forward. There's some confusion with Pinch with our app that we we generated early on in our business. And some of you folks might have even signed up for that app um, back in 21, 22. Let me explain that to you. So we invested a ton of money early on in this space, and that money went specifically to building a app based cleaner home uh, type of system. What we did was we focused on being the Uber of house cleaning. It was a first come, first serve basis. All of our providers would sign up on the app and then anyone who needed their house cleaned, whether they were a real estate agent or a mom or a, it didn't matter. They would go on to that app and then they would create a pinch, put their square footage of their house in and then some one of our cleaners would accept it. We learned two things throughout that year, year and a half when we launched that app. One was that we did not want to be a company in the middle of home cleaners and soccer moms. That was very difficult to do. And two, that there were so many hungry cleaners out there in the workforce today that really wanted jobs. What we found was we couldn't satisfy all of the cleaners that were on our platform and keep them busy enough. So we kind of went back to the drawing board and we started all over. In 2023, and correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, but I'd say February of 2023 is when we really started dipping our toes into the multifamily space. Yeah, um, so that's right. This, Brian, can I, can I stop you for just a second? I want to yeah. make sure that you are seeing the screen. Are you seeing the screen? Um, yes. The PowerPoint? Okay. 
And yes. I did see that a few people were not admitted um, immediately. So I apologize to you guys for that. Um, sorry to interrupt you, Brian. Um, just That's wanted okay. to say sorry for those of you that couldn't get in right away. Um, just had a little technical glitch there. But go ahead, Brian. It's no problem. We're not. Uh, we're still on the first slide. So I'm just giving a back history of who Pinch is because there's some confusion around the app. Um, what we did was we found a, a marketplace, a vertical, if you will, called multifamily. And, and we dipped our toes into this in 2023. And we took some of those home cleaners that came with us from our app and we said, hey, guys, we're going to introduce you to this space. And we want you guys to go into these multifamily facilities and see if this is a place where you'd like to spend your time and see how this is from a revenue standpoint. If it's something you'd like to incorporate into your into your business. We did that with a select few cleaners um, throughout the, the year of 23, and it was highly, highly successful. So then we were off to the races. What we did in early 2024, we launched our multifamily training, our technology platform, all encompassing to our entire network of cleaners um, this year. And that's kind of what brings me to where we are in this next slide. So, Chris, if you want to go over to the next slide. Absolutely, Brian. All right. So let me give you a quick fun fact. Um, I love facts. There are 11 million cleaning opportunities annually in the United States. I'm going to say that again. 11 million cleaning opportunities in the United States annually. There's also over 21 million apartment complexes with 266,000 units being built annually. So that's a lot of cheese. If, if you're following me here, 21 million apartment complexes on your daily commute every single day you pass by hundreds of these and each of these facilities are looking for good solid cleaners to come in there and work with them and partner with them the problem with this space right now is that it's monopolized by a few commercial cleaning companies in every single town and every single city and what you have is you have these medium or large cleaning companies that go in there mm -hmm. And it's kind of groundhog day for these folks. Most of these cleaners are getting paid pennies on the dollar um, and they go in there and the property managers at these facilities aren't satisfied with the quality of work and the quality of service. Now, there's a reason for that. One is because those folks are the only people that can really clean in this environment. This environment, there are so many different barriers that are put in place that it's difficult for most folks or the mom and pops out there to be even go out to be able to go out there and even offer the opportunity to work in that space. Some of those barriers to entry into the multifamily space is first is it's insurance requirements. You have to have automotive insurance. You have to have insurance for the facility and for the job. You truly just can't walk off the street and walk in there and say, hey, guys, I would love the opportunity to come in here and clean. They're going to look right at you and say, well, do you have insurance? And then the first question is, if you don't, it's, no, I don't. Then it's kind of back out the door. The next thing is vendor management integration. There are lots of these management companies out there. And each one of these companies are organized to be able to bring vendors in to help save money and to do all different kinds of things for these facilities. There's also heavy fees associated with these management companies. So you have to be a part of these companies or you still don't have access to any of these facilities. Back office support. Most of these facilities out there, they really, really, really want to work with other professionals. So they have to have some type of reproducible or seamless process to be able to schedule, to invoice, um, for collections. And I mean, that's, that's just to name a few. So multifamily, why multifamily, right? I mean, we, we truly believe that this is the holy grail of cleaning, y'all. Every one of these facilities, on average, average around 200 units per facility. And these units, they experience turnovers and they need touch-up cleans throughout the year. This results in just a massive steady income of reproducible business that's out there and waiting on folks like yourself. Let's go to the next slide, Chris. So that brings me to you guys. So home cleaners, why home cleaners, right? 
as I mentioned a minute ago, I mean, this space is truly, truly saturated with these commercial folks. But what we found when we did our app was that home cleaners like yourself have two very, very good qualities that a lot of these commercial cleaning companies don't have. One is you know how to build relationships because you do that with every single house that you clean. And two, the quality of work. There's attention to detail that's always there. I know I see it at my home. I'm sure you guys provide it to every home that you work in or VRBO space that you work in. The development, the relationship, the quality of work is superior from home cleaners. And that match with multifamily is really solving two problems. It's getting you busy and it's making these property managers very, very happy. And it's a perfect fit for this space. I mean, think about this. Imagine spending the entire day in one apartment complex or two apartment complexes. Your return on investment and spend of time will be doubled or tripled that of going from house to house to house, right? This is such a steady flow of business that you can make this reproducible. And we're watching cleaners do it every single day. As a matter of fact, our top max cleaner, and tell me if I'm wrong, Chris, but our top max cleaner right now is servicing over 40 buildings. And if if I'm correct, and Chris, you're the money guy, I believe that she's earning anywhere between twenty and thirty thousand dollars a month on these. Uh, facilities that she's working in. Is, is that pretty that's accurate? Right, that's okay. right. So that, that's that's mind boggling, right? That's mind boggling. And that can be you. And, and that's that's really what we want from this presentation is to let you know that we're not just a, um, you know, we're not just a flash in the pan. We're an opportunity to really, really help you grow your business and take it to the next level. So I'm going to take one second. I printed off two sheets of paper and, and forgive me for this, but I'm going to read it. Um, these these two folks are two cleaners that recently started working with us. Um, once his name is George Ramos. I don't know. I don't believe he's on this call, but this is George's statement when he started working with Pinch. I've never thought that my company could sell our cleaning services to apartments. Each time we've tried in the past, the property manager wanted super high insurance coverage. We could never get the numbers to work. With Pinch, we are scaling our business through these apartment and facilities. We are on our third community now, and we plan to keep growing. That's George Ramos. Here's Tom Renchard. With Pinch, I've learned to sell my cleaning service to multifamily communities. The training was super easy, and now I, I force, I don't know if you should force, but now I force all new employees to go through their multifamily training system. It sets the stage for them and it gives them the foundation they need to succeed for themselves and for my business's reputation. That is powerful, folks. That's something that we're seeing each and every single day. And we would love for you to be one of those examples here in the next coming months. Chris, if you want to go to the next slide. <clears throat> All right. So why pinch, right? Why, why, why? incorporate your business with us, right? Well, first and foremost, we are not Angie's List. We're not a marketing company that's a gimmick. We're not going to send you some leads out there and then tell you to go out there and do the work and then pay us a thousand dollars. We don't operate like that. We at Pinch only win if you win. And that's it. It starts with you and it ends with you. We will shower you with support. And that is a guarantee. We have 15 guys in-house each and every day working to make sure that you folks not only get the support you need, but that we're out there helping market, helping you grow and helping you get all of your questions answered. It really starts. And if you haven't done the training, it starts with our training in the certification. Um, in that training and certification, you are going to learn selling tactics. You're going to get tricks of the trade. You're going to be able to let your employees, like Tom said, get trained and have everybody kind of on the same page. Um, you'll also have access to all of our technology tools. And I mean, we will help you from start to finish. We'll help you manage your invoicing. We'll help you manage your, the accounting, the receivables, the scheduling, uh, and of course, the marketing. We also have a top down approach where we work with regional managers and even higher than regional managers. And we sign corporate contracts. 
when we sign these corporate contracts with these folks, it's a beautiful thing because they will look at us and say, hey, Chris, hey, Brian, hey, Neil, we have 60 facilities across Arizona. We have 32 facilities across Ohio. We have 57 facilities across you know, North Carolina. We would like to partner with Pinch. We want to reach out to all of our property managers and start getting Pinch on the docket. We want to have all processes come through one company. Who do you have that can clean in those respective areas? And that's when we reach out to the folks like yourself who are invested in this space, who want to grow in the multifamily space, who are out there passing out proposals, who are winning business. You are our diamonds and we are happy to polish you. And that's how we do that from a corporate, uh, a top down approach. And it's super exciting because we just signed a huge contract just the other day and we continue to, to drive more business, you know, every single moment. So let's go to the next slide, Chris. All right. This is exciting right here. Um, uh, Chris, did you flip over to the next slide? Yeah. OK, so yep. what opportunity is in front of you? And and I want to share uh, kind of what that is. You, if you haven't got the gist of this yet, you know that this is this is a high volume jobs business. That's all this is. Hard work is is going to go a very, very, very long way, way. The tools that we have in place for you will help you do that and it will help you be successful. And these two young ladies right here that are on the screen are exactly the image that I want to see of each and every one of you. And I'm going to start with the one on the right. That's Janelli. And Janelli is located in Tampa, Florida. Her goal this year is to have 10 communities that she is working with, 10 buildings. And the cool thing about Janelli when she shared her story with us is that she said, you know, guys, I went out and I started selling my company to these multifamily facilities. I won one or two. And then all of a sudden the property managers that were at that facility left and they went to another property and they liked me and my team so much that they brought me on board to that facility as well. So she's picked up three more facilities as a result of property managers changing jobs. That happens quite often, but her goal is to get to 10 buildings by the end of this year. And as you can see, from January to March of this year, she made over $30,000. That's after pinch. That is her money. If you kind of switch over to the, over to the to Charleston, South Carolina, Kelly, is, uh, Kelly Silva is one of our first cleaners. She came over with us from our app, and she is such a success story. Uh, she is a gem of a person as well. But Kelly started out with her and her daughter here in Charleston cleaning on our app. Kelly now has 32 employees. I still to this date don't know how many buildings that she's cleaning. But you can see from January to March, she cleared over $50,000. So the point of showing these two slides and uh, ex the example of these two young ladies is the fact that, guys, these are real people. These are real businesses and these were real successes. It is amazing what you can do when you have the right tools available to you and the right opportunity. That is what Pinch is. We are that opportunity. And we hope each and every one of you on this call on this call see that and then want to share in success with us. Go to the next slide, Chris. So now yeah, so, we're going to uh, talk about the process. And I'm going to let Chris kind of run through this slide and the next couple of slides. It looks like we're doing okay on time, Chris. Um, so I'll let you take over from right here if you'd like. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, just a reminder, because uh, I know some people are still coming in. If you have questions, we want to hear your questions. There is a icon on your screen uh, for, for questions where you can just type them in there as you as you think of any questions that come up. And then when we get to the end of the presentation, Brian and I will go through the questions and make sure they're all answered. We want to make sure you leave with as much information as possible. Uh, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about our process. Uh, you know, once you come into the system, some of you are at various stages. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but uh, what you're going to get um, at the end of that, once you're, you're certified, it means you've done all the training, uh, you've done the background check, um, you're now a certified pro pinch contractor. 
uh, what we're going to do is we're going to reach out with proposals that we're going to uh, look at your, where you're located and, and locate five properties. And we're going to put together a proposal for you that's customized um, to, to take in there. We, we'll even co-brand it with your logo. If you have a logo, um, we'll co-brand that. So when you go in there, it says, you know, your company powered by Pinch. And then uh, you're also going to get a, a COI, which is a certificate of insurance sample, because that's something that uh, they're going to want to have. Um, that's just one of the things they're going to ask when you when anybody comes in there. Brian and I have done this ourselves. Um, they always want to know uh, your proof of insurance. So that's what that is. And, and they're going to want a W-9, which we're going to provide you with that for tax information. And they're going to, they don't ask for checklists usually, but we provide that because it makes an impression. It shows that um, we pay attention to detail. And as a partner with you, we provide uh, a checklist that makes sure that nothing gets missed. Um, and that means a lot to, to these community managers that run these facilities. And then as far as support goes, we have a really good support team. <clears throat> Um, in addition to webinars like this, we're going to continue to add more training on our site. Um, we're, we're constantly trying to improve that process and give you more information to make you even more effective. Um, you know, a big thing is when you when you're cleaning these units, you want to you know do it in the most efficient manner, but you, you also want to do it with high quality. So um, we're, we're always looking for ways to do that. We're going to share that with you. Um, you also get vendor management. Uh, Brian touched on that a little bit. And what vendor management is, these, these property management companies, uh, some of them are worldwide in their, in their size, and they need a way to qualify all the vendors that come through to do all kinds of things for these properties. And uh, there's quite a few hoops to jump through. There are fees that have to be paid. There are, are, are bars that need to be met. We've taken care of all of that for you. So you don't have to do any of that. They're going to ask you if you're vendor qualified or, or if you're on one of these platforms, your answer is always going to be yes, because you're working with us. Um, the other thing Brian touched on a little bit is inbound leads. So, uh, you know, the first and fastest way for you to start building your business is once you get these uh, initial leads that we give you. Um, is to go in and, and sell yourself, sell, sell your company, sell your quality. Um, you know, just, you know, tell them, tell them what you can do for them. Um, but, uh, and that's the fastest way. Uh, but in addition to that, if you are, you know, have been in the system, showed that you are, um, are willing to get out there and really uh, hit the road and, and, and get some activity going, uh, we are also working on our side, Brian, myself, a couple of other people um, are working very hard at the corporate level with these property management companies uh, to find uh, and sell them on the idea that it makes sense for them to uh, systemize and, uh, and harmonize all of their cleanings for all of their properties. Sometimes it's just by region. Sometimes they even want to do it. Uh, across their whole portfolio of properties. When that happens, it's amazing, right? Um, so when that happens, we're going to be reaching out to you as the local uh, talent, as it were, to to take care of these properties and say, hey, uh, we just got this property management company on board. Um, this this is uh, what they're expecting. Um, do you you know are you interested? Um, we're going to come to you first to to fill those jobs. And that's an inbound lead. That means you don't have to go and sell it. We've already sold it for you. Um, but that comes with everything that I mentioned before that. Um, but it, it's it's just one more way that your business can grow. Uh, and then there's payment. So uh, whenever, and, and scheduling. So whenever uh, the, the complex has jobs ready to go, they're going to call us. We're going to uh, work with them to schedule it and you to, to get it on your schedule. Um, we're going to coordinate all that stuff for you so you don't have to do that. Um, we're also going to provide collection support, which means, you know, after we've invoiced these customers, which is another thing we do for you, um, we're also going to follow up. Um, 
and make sure that those payments are coming in in a timely manner. That's actually a teamwork exercise. So we're working the phones and email and keeping an eye on the numbers. Um, but um, it's also very helpful that you are there in person and can walk in there and say, hey, you know, um, we're just uh, checking up on this invoice. And in between both of us working both sides of this, it, it, it really helps to get uh, payments done in a, in a timely manner. Also, um, as I mentioned before, we're, we're constantly trying to improve our processes. We're try, trying to improve our platform. Um, so along with that is going to come new technology tools. There are going to be more and more things uh, that are going to be on the website that will help uh, really uh, enable your business to grow. Um, and then last of all, uh, when you're doing jobs right now, you probably get paid in a, in a myriad of different ways. Um, one of the things that we try to do is make that process really easy so that when the customer pays, we're going to direct deposit your fee in directly into your account. So you don't have to mess with, you know, going to pick up a check or checking the mail or, you know, doing all the things that you might have to do right now to get paid for different jobs. So here I'm going to go over some of the documents um, that you're, that you're going to get uh in this process that i was talking about we want to give you some examples and show you what it looks like so what you're seeing on the screen now is a proposal so when i mentioned you're you're going to get a customized proposal it will look very similar to this it'll have your name your logo if you want it you don't have to have a logo but if you want your logo to be on there we can put it in there and then we're going to have suggested pricing and that just is pricing that is kind of what we see on average um, it's not uh, a requirement. Um, this is your business. These are going to be your customers. We want you to be comfortable with the fees that that you're charging. So these numbers are not uh, in stone by any means. You can go higher. You can go lower if you want to try to really be aggressive and try to grow your market. Um, but it's totally flexible. You tell us we're, we're going to give give it to you in this form at first with the uh, with the suggested pricing, but it's totally changeable. All you got to do is let us know, and we'll change it and resend it back to you, and then you can take it in with you. Um, what most people do is once they make the introduction and they go in and they uh, start developing that relationship with the community manager. Um, you can actually print this up and hand it to them if you already know ahead of time what you want to charge, or you can get collect all their contact information, which I highly recommend in any case, because you're going to need to follow up with them. Um, and then once you leave, immediately fire off an email that has this pricing, because that's that's also the other thing that they're going to know immediately is is what are your fees. Um, and you may also in that conversation want to say, you know, you know, really, I just want your business. So um, I, I don't really care as long as it's a fair price. You tell me what you guys like to pay and I'll just match it. And that allows you to modify this pricing here uh, before you send it to them. But you can do me, it either way. It's totally up to you. I'm going to add a right little bit now. to that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah sure. I'm add a little bit. Um, early on when I, I sold many, many of these facilities here in Charleston, when we were dipping our toes in multifamily, and one of the things that I found um, was great was I had this proposal in hand, obviously, when I went in there to talk to the property manager and introduce myself. But I would simply ask him the question, uh, what are you currently paying right now for your one bedroom, your two bedroom and your three bedroom? And nine times out of 10, that property manager would tell me. And whether or not they knew it off the top of their head, they would punch a few keys on the computer and then they would say, OK, so I'm paying one fifty five for one bedroom, one seventy five for two bedroom, one ninety five for three bedroom. And if that's the case, I'm certainly not going to give them my standard pricing of one thirty five, one forty five and one fifty five. So I would give them the next couple of documents that we're getting ready to present to you at that point in time. Then I'd let them know I'd come back to them that afternoon and I'd email them. Um, the pricing over. And, and I would typically say, you know, we can certainly work with that. And I would go about $5 off of what they're currently paying. So it sounds like they've got a good deal, which they do. Um, but you can get a lot by just asking that question. Um, and, and most of these property managers are super friendly and they're happy to answer it. So. 
Great point, Brian. And Brian knows what he's talking about. He's sold more of these than any of us have. Um, so great advice. Um, I'll also throw in there. Uh, we, we do have some cleaners that to get their foot in the door and just make sure they get that first job. They sometimes will even say, oh, hey, I'll do your first clean for free. I'll do your first one bedroom for free. Um, certainly not required to do that, but it does get their attention, right? Um, and uh, that, but that's totally up to you if you want to do that. You do not have to do that. Um, but if you really want to be aggressive and, and really get something going uh, and light a fire, um, that's, that's a great way to do it. Um, so uh, this is the flyer that we're going to provide you with where you can put your business card there um, and leave behind. You always want to leave something behind with your contact information because uh, typically when you go into these places because they have to have a cleaner, they might not be happy with who they have. Um, or they might be in the process of looking for somebody or they might be looking for a backup. But you want to make sure that you have something there that when that when that occurs in their mind, if they, if they don't need somebody right away or, you know, they're really busy, they'll they'll say, hey, you know, Brian came in here the other day. I, where I, I don't where's his information? Oh, there it is right there. So I can just call him up and say, hey, I, I want you to do my next clean coming up. So uh, very important to, to, to have this and leave it behind so they know how to get a hold of you. Uh, now, this is the certificate of insurance. Just want you to see what this looks like. It's an example. So you're just going to give it to them so that they can see um, that we have all the coverages that they need. Um, we made sure that uh, we set our coverage levels high enough that it meets all of the, all of the uh, businesses that we come across. Some of them don't need this much insurance, but... A lot of them do. Um, so you walking in with this in your hand answers a lot of questions and shows them you know what you're talking about. This is the W-9, just like I mentioned before. This is just so that, uh, that when, it, when it comes time for taxes uh, on their end, uh, they have the appropriate information for their vendor. So uh, that, that will be the other thing they're going to need. So you're going to have everything you need when you, when you walk in there with, with this package. And then finally, this is the uh, checklist that I mentioned before. Uh, most people that come in to, to talk to these places to try and, and get business, they don't have a checklist. They certainly don't have the other things that I mentioned either. Uh, but this, as I said earlier, uh, really shows that, you know, you pay attention to detail. You've got your stuff together and uh, this really raises their confidence level and, and really motivates them to to think of you as a serious option for them either immediately or as a backup can we can I add something to that chris let's go back where absolutely fast. um so two things a lot of folks that uh, can you go back to that slide yeah um, a, a lot a lot of folks don't have uh if you don't have a business card don't sweat that at all take a sticky note put it where it says business card write down the name of your company and your phone number um, you want a way for them to be able to get back in touch with you, um, especially since you spent the time to go over there and see them and introduce yourself. And I can't tell you how many times that I would go into a property manager unannounced, introduce myself, explain who we are, leave this one page marketing slick with my business card and say, listen, you know, if, if you're if you're not happy or if you just are curious, you know, please, please give us a try. You know, we'd love to earn your business. And a lot of times the folks would say, well, you know, we're happy we have an in-house crew or we're happy with our current cleaning team. They're, they're fantastic. They do a great job. I would always leave them with this one marketing slick and I'd say I totally get it. But everybody gets into a pinch from time to time. And when you get into a pinch, I want you to remember Brian Walton's cleaning team. And I can't tell you how many times five days later I'd get that phone call. And it would be Samantha or it'd be Mark and it'd be the property manager saying, hey, man, you're not going to believe this. But guess what? I am in a pinch. Uh, you know, our cleaner got sick. She can't be here today. Could you come over and do apartment 402? And then certainly we'd send our team out there and then we go from kind of being in the backup to being the starter. So that's a really, really good way, you know, to, to end the call is, you know, everybody gets into a pinch. Please keep this, you know, my name, my number. Um, and if it's just a sticky note, it's OK. You know, it's it's just a sticky note. Um, and then go ahead, go over to the last one, to the scope of work, Chris. The scope of work, um, 
You know, I can't emphasize enough. This was done by our our early on cleaning teams and this is what they do and what they did in Charleston. And this is why they have 40 facilities and more underneath their belts. The reason they have that is because they adhere to this scope of work and they do unbelievable jobs out there. Um, They know that they, they won this business and they can lose this business as easy as they want it. And the reason they don't is because they adhere to this checklist and believe me, when you present this to a property manager and they see this checklist and they understand this is what you do for each one of their turnovers or whatever the touch up, whatever it may be, um, they are their eyes open up. You know, it, it sets a precedence with them and they are really excited about this opportunity because I can promise you those commercial cleaning companies that I was talking about earlier in the presentation. I can promise you that ninety nine point nine percent of them are not adhering to a checklist like this. So just keep that you know, keep that in mind. Great advice, Brian. Thanks. Okay. So this is just a kind of a, a, a reminder or a refresher of what the process is. Uh, some of you may have already gone through the entire process um, and you're already at the end. If you're not, and you're somewhere in the middle, this kind of gives you uh, a layout of, of the process. So, Everything starts with the website, pro.pinch.cleaning. Um, even if you're already in the system, that's where you go to, to go to your dashboard and, and do everything you need to do uh, when it comes to uh, the platform. Um, and then step two, uh, we have, and, and again, some of you have probably already done that. We, we do have two training modules. Each one takes about 45 minutes to complete. One is covers the, the cleaning itself because we want to be uh, make sure that that, you know, after all the conversations we've had and all the things we've learned from these multifamily properties, we know what they want and what they expect when it comes to cleaning. And we've combined that with some of our best cleaners to, to produce the best training uh that we can possibly make at this point in time it's gonna it's gonna get improved over time so you'll want to come back to it and as we as we make improvements to it but it's pretty good right now um it's it's training for cleaning is the first one and then the second one is sales for multifamily um it goes over the things that brian has learned that i've learned that uh some other guys have learned that uh that have done this sales process with with uh with these properties um, and we want to impart that to you so that you don't have to relearn all of this. You just go through that training and you'll know exactly what to do. You'll be better than us when you walk in there the first time. Um, and then step three is the proposal kit that I mentioned earlier, where you get all those things, you get the flyer, you get the insurance, you get the W nine, um, you get the checklist that that's what that is. It's the proposal kit. Um, we've already had several people come back to us after they've delivered their first five and say, Hey, you know, here's three more properties that I really want to go see. Can you, you know, produce, uh, more proposals for those? And, and, and we will do that for you. Um, and then step four is just, you know, you got to jump in. So, um, don't feel uncomfortable. <laughs> these, these, uh, um, property managers, uh, they're called community managers and their staff. They're very friendly. They're used to people stopping by all the time. Um, they're going to be very impressed that you're bringing, uh, this level of professionalism to ask to have a conversation with them. Um, you just have to, you know, you just have to jump in and once you do it one time, the second time will be easier. Third time will be easier than that. And before you know it, by the time you get through the fifth one, You'll, you'll be extremely comfortable. You'll be really smooth. You'll be very good at it. Um, it's not a hard sell. Um, what, what we're putting in your hands will uh, resonate with them. They may not call you immediately. They may not. There's a very good chance they're going to say, I really appreciate this information. I'm very interested. And you might not hear from them immediately. It, it, it typically, in my experience, and Brian, please comment on what yours has been. But my experience was it, it takes four to six weeks before you uh, get a call back. Not all the time. Some of, Sometimes you'll go in there and they'll say, 
Hey, I am so glad you stopped by. I, w I was in the middle of looking for somebody. I am very interested. Can you take care of these units next week? I know it's short notice. And then you say, absolutely. Wow, that was fast. Um, but my experience, it, it, it does take a little persistence. It does take some follow-up. Um, but uh, once they have this information, they're going to know how to get a hold of you. And you'll be surprised. It, it mm -hmm. really gets the ball rolling. Uh, Brian, what has that kind of been your experience or? Yeah, well, I think um, I think the real the real key to this is, is to think about it like this. Once you get one, it's like building a birdhouse with pre-drilled holes. It's the same way each and every single time. Once one facility gets on board, that's kind of when we take action. Um, and then Pinch really starts to shower you with that support that I talked about early on. Um, we we won't win without you winning. So what we want you to do is be as successful as you can possibly be. So at that point in time, we say, OK, well, Andrea is a diamond. We're going to get Andrea. Um, we're going to take some action in, in Ohio and get Andrea really rocking and rolling. That's when we start, um, you know, our SEO, our operations of marketing takeover. And then we start sending out your proposal, your pricing to hundreds of different facilities in your respective area. And when that happens, you start getting the phone calls instead of having to make the calls. Kind of like that example I gave with, you know, with Jalea, you know, she, you know, property managers followed her. Right. And um, she followed the property managers to different facilities. It really starts to build off itself. So don't think there's a specific time frame that it can be fast or slow. In my opinion, I think you just got to get on there and knock on knock on the door um, and, and, and get that no. And then walk to the next place and get that no again. And then good things will happen. I can assure you from that. At least that's been my experience. And then other close um, um, cleaners that we work with on a daily basis. Um, it's been their experience as well. Yeah, activity means everything. Um, so just, you know, get out there and start doing it. Uh, so that's our last slide. Um, we have about a little more than 15 minutes to answer questions. Um, if you haven't entered any questions yet, please, please do uh, enter some. Uh, I'm going to go in here now um, to see what questions we have. Um, Robin Warmgore says, uh, will I go in as an independent contractor or an actual small business? Uh, so um, really the way I would frame that is you're an independent contractor, but you're you're sort of a subcontractor of, of pinch. It's a it's we're your partner. We're going to handle the back office part of it. You're handling the cleaning part of it and the relationship part of it. Uh, but, uh, you know, um, you're going to be a, uh, you're going to receive a 1099 uh, tax um, statement at the end of the year, which is for independent contractors. If you're familiar with that tax treatment, um, and I don't know, I don't know how that relates to small businesses necessarily, because a small business can be an independent contractor. But I, I hope I answered your question, Robin. Um, and uh, Andrea says yes. I checked my spam. Um, Andrea, I'm not sure. Oh, I, I, I followed back up with Andy, Andrea on that a little bit earlier on when she asked the question. So Andrea was asking the question of that she has not received her proposals um, and pay in any of the documents. And she finished training a couple of weeks ago. Um, Andrea, with that being said, we'll send you out some more. If you want to email me at Brian, B-R-Y-A-N at pinchjob.com, I'll make sure that we get some out to you. Um Typically, it, it, we've heard it goes to spam on a lot of folks. So if it's not in your spam and you check, we'll resend it um, to the email that you um, that you email me. OK, so we'll make sure we'll get those out to you ASAP. OK, uh, one thing I, I, we really don't want to get off of this call without uh, mentioning is there is some seasonality to this business. If you think about. Uh, when people typically move, they usually wait till the summer, right? Uh, because that's when your kids are out of school. Uh, the weather's nicer. Um, it's just a great time. If you're going to pick any time of the year to, to make a move, it, it's usually, uh, you know, the spring, summer, uh, early fall. Um, and that's the period we're in right now. So it's really important uh, if, if you, if you want, really want to make a big 
uh, impact and you really want to get this thing off the ground quickly, uh, keep in mind, this is the time of year where uh, they have a lot of turns happening because there's a lot of people moving. Um, so a lot of activity. It's the best time. Uh, it's, it, it, it increases the chances that whoever they're using right now can't handle it all um, or they can't do it when when it needs to be done. So that just increases your opportunity to get your foot in the door and, and show them what you can do. And I promise you, uh, when you do a great job for these places with everything that we're putting in your hands, they're going to want you to come back. And they're going to, even if you don't start off as their primary cleaner, there's a very good chance that you will become their primary cleaner and you will you'll get the lion's share, if not all of their business. And, um, and, and it's not just the turn cleans either. There's also the common area cleans, which they call porter service, which uh can can happen uh very easily when you start having these conversations and those are typically two times a month and that's every month no matter what time of year it is because the that's that's the gym that's the offices that's you know all the common areas that you see when you when you live in an apartment complex so that does not change it's a great place for you to to really boost uh that that income stream um let's see Charles, Charles Seta, I hope I said your name right. I apologize if I didn't. Uh, wants to know where is the training. So um, the training should be that, that website I mentioned. It's pro.pinch.cleaning. You want to go to that website and log in there, and then you will see a menu that includes uh, an item for training. You just click on that training, and it will take you into the training. Now, we'll say... Um, we're in the process of um, moving the training from one uh, platform into the, our main site. Um, so you may see that happen if you don't go, like if you see it now, it's going to look one way. If you go in, say, Tuesday, it's going to look a, a different way. But it should, it should work very much the same. It's going to be the same material. Um, you're going to go in the front door the same way you do now. Um, but if you run into any issues with that, please do not hesitate to contact me or Brian or um, info at pinchjob.com. Um, that's going to reach a larger audience to, to try and help you out. Uh, my email is chris at pinchjob.com. Brian is brian at pinchjob.com. It's also on those slides and, and will be on the recording. Um, so don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, our door is always open. We want to talk to you. As Brian said, we don't succeed without your success. Um, so your success is automatically very important to us. Anything yeah, to so add, here's, Brian? A here's a question from Sherry. How many facilities, buildings do most cleaners do? Um, that's a good question, Sherry. So <clears throat> it really all depends. Um, we do have cleaners that say they only want to do one or two. And, and they're fine with doing one or two uh, facilities, and that's, that's as much as they want to take on. Um, but we also have teams that there are, you know, five or six folks on the team, and they're doing 10, 12 facilities, and they want to do 200 facilities. Um, so that's completely up to you how big, how small you want to be. Just know that we'll be that resource for you, and we can help you grow. And that's that's the goal of all this is to make sure that you are successful. So be as big or be as small as you want. We'll support you either way. Thanks, Thanks Brian. Uh, Laura is asking this question for the proposals that we give community managers. Are the rates set based off of one bedroom, et cetera, straight across the board? Asking because the condition of properties are left and makes a huge factor on time spent at the property. You sound like you've done this before, Laura. <laughs> um, yeah, so the answer to that is uh, our, our pricing assumes that most of these, if not all of these apartment communities that you go into will have a one bedroom, they will have a two bedroom, they will have a three bedroom. Um, some even have four, but most of them are one, two, or three. Um, and then there are, there are levels within that. There is a normal turn clean level, which means it's, it's what you would expect um, if the person who left took fairly good care of it and cleaned up some before they left. 
It's what you're going to see most of the time. Um, there's one price for that. But if it's horrific and it's terrible and it's going to take you twice as long or three times as long, there's allowances for that too, where we charge a, 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 a an add-on for those. And we even have a process for taking pictures. So you can share that with and, and have a record of of that if anybody has any questions about why the pricing is higher than the normal price um we we know that that is a reality we we, we see it uh, almost in every property because there's always going to be that tenant that moves out that didn't take very good care of their unit um and so that's an excellent question and to answer it we address that and if you have any exceptions to that we can work with you on that as well um laura also is asking also is there a minimum number of cleaners that are required to clean properties we don't have a requirement um i will say uh on average uh we see most of our cleaners want to have at least two people cleaning a unit because a one bedroom is probably going to take two hours um with two people so obviously if it's one person it, it, it may take three hours <laughs> Kind of depends on some of the particulars in there but uh you can certainly do it as a single um it's just going to take a lot longer to complete um and then some of some of our cleaners have three or four because they can really go through them really quick uh um let me and if uh, you're really me, successful go ahead brian i was just gonna say laura too um and folks there's a bunch of you that have joined us uh, pretty much at the tail end of the presentation. If you did, just know that we recorded this. You'll be able to go onto the website, to the portal, and be able to rewatch it from the beginning, okay? So don't feel like you have to, um, you know, fire away a billion questions. Just feel free to go back and watch it. It is being recorded. Um, <clears throat> but I see where Laura's, uh, you know, she's saying that she's employed at a local cleaning business for 16 years, and you're looking to start your own business. Listen, this is this is exactly what we're doing for folks. Um, you are a prime example. Um, so many of the cleaners that have joined our team did work for bigger businesses, uh, for commercial companies, and they wanted to go out and be the entrepreneurs they know they can be. Um, absolutely, um, this is the right avenue for you. Uh, if you did do it in multifamily, or, and it sounds like you, you were in multifamily, then you understand how this works. We're going to be your technology teammate to make sure all of this is going to be uh, it's reproducible and very easy for you to do. So we would love, Laura, for you to, to uh, start your own business. And I promise you, we can help you get there. Absolutely. Well, we still have uh, about seven minutes left. Um, I don't think there's any more questions. Though, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any more questions. Um, well, We'll wrap it up. Let's just wrap it up. Um, we're running right on the hour. First and foremost, we had a great attendance. We know it's a Saturday, so thanks for being on here with us. We're going to have many, many more of these coming out. Um, also, uh, we're going to be putting out some new videos. So stay tuned for our videos. You'll get to see me again. Um, we're going to talk about some sales tactics. We're going to talk about some yeses and nos, um, do's and don'ts um, that can help you go out there and grow your business. Um, thank you all all for being on this call with us. Uh, it is a pleasure to, to see the faces and to uh, see some of the names on here. Um, we look forward to partnering with you and we will be here with you uh, the whole journey. And uh, once again, um, you have my email, you have Chris's email and feel free to reach out to us with any questions or concerns. Happy hunting out there. And thank you guys so much for all your time. Yes. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we look forward to working with you. Goodbye.